I'm just giving an example today on how to use Anaconda to create an environment to work in uh, for your Jupyter Notebooks. Now, now the reason we create an environment is that um, Anaconda comes with a whole bunch of libraries that work reasonably well together. And in fact, we don't even have to worry about installing most of them. We've just been using a lot of them without even thinking about it. But not everything plays nice. Some libraries have different dependencies and use different versions of something like NumPy. And if you installed both things requiring different versions of NumPy, uh, your, your environment would crash. It wouldn't be able to resolve these conflicts of different libraries needing access to different versions of software and stuff. So the way we get around this is we have a little naughty corner. And I kind of, I imagine it as like a little, a little jail cell for badly behaved libraries or something like that. Anyway, some of the libraries we'll be using, we're going to put in this faraway island off by themselves so they can't clash with anything else we've got going on. And we're gonna be using a really, um, it's quite a widespread library today uh, called Cartopy, which is a cartographic library to enable us to make maps and do lots of very, very cool things. So very, very critical for spatial information science probably less critical for, say, machine learning specialists. So it comes as an op optional extra in the Anaconda environment. Um, but what we're going to actually do is set up a little segregated little jail cell for Carter Pi to sit in, and we'll set up the libraries we need to run it in its own little environment, uh, and that way it won't affect our basic uh, Python installation. So the way in which we do this is I'm in Anaconda Navigator right now, and I'm going to click on environments just here. And I have a list here on this left hand side of all the weird environments I've made for different reasons that I have software living in. Now what I'm going to show you now is how to make an environment for maps. Now I have one running already that actually does everything uh, we, want, we want it to do. But here's how I actually make it. So what I'm going to do first off is click create. Now it's asking me for the environment name. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it maps2 because I already have a maps working. Then it's asking us what package we want it in. Now we have two options here, Python or R, which is a statistical uh, language, which is very, very common in biology, for instance, these days. We're going to stick with Python and we're going to use the most recent version of Python 3.7. Then I hit create and it will think a little bit and load up a bunch of stuff and you can see it working along the bottom here and eventually it's going to give us a brand new pristine environment from which to work in. Now there'll be it'll be a fairly bare bones environment that's just capable of running Jupyter Notebooks and not terribly much else and what we're going to want to install in it are our basics. So we will want to install for instance mat plot lib, which it turns out is not a default for this. So let's click matplotlib. There we are, it's finished its search and we'll hit apply. And then it will look and say, right, what do I need to install and get this one working? Oh, here's all the things matplotlib depends on, lots of different little weird libraries. I'm going to hit fine, we'll go with that. And it will now install that to my environment so I can use that, which is great. Now once that is finished, I'm going to install Cartopy itself. Now it's just loading up here down the bottom and then we're done. So let's have a look now for Cartopy. Now I've got it here. One thing to note, if you don't find it, make sure you're not looking just in the installed packages because I don't have it installed, so it won't come up. You need to go to search for all packages, and here's Cartopy as an uninstalled package here. Click Cartopy, click Apply, and then it will look for all the things Cartopy needs to run, and here they all are. So it will now go ahead and install all of those, and you can see it actually includes SkyPy for me, which is useful, so I'll hit Apply, and off it goes, it's installing all those packages locally for me. It's building them all up. Oh, it's getting SkyPy at the moment. That's taking a little bit of time because that's quite a big package. 
but eventually it will create an environment with everything it needs locally for Cartopy to work so we can just make maps from scratch and not worry about any of this whatsoever. Now, uh, what's it up to now? It's still loading packages at this point. Good, okay, that's installed. Now the last thing I'm going to get you guys to search for is something we use just once. It's an array loading package which will help us load a particular type of uh, data that we're going to use. So I'm just going to hit this X array option just here and I'll hit apply and it will wonder what on earth I need this for. And we go. And it's going to install X-Ray. It's also going to install Pandas for us, which is great, because that is something I'm going to use in the next few practices as well. It's like Excel for Python. Let's hit Apply. And now at this point, I should have my environment set up once it finishes installing Pandas, which is about 7.8 meg here. So we'll just give it a little second and off it goes. And once that is finished, we should have a functional environment which we can then load uh, and get things going in. Now if I look at the top now and I go in this environment, I look at all the installed software. Here's now everything I've got installed in this environment. Now you can see a number of things. You can see our X-Array we just installed. URL lib for downloading stuff, Shapely, which is a, a function to handle shape data, which we use in GIS quite a lot, SkyPy, which we've already used, uh, what else, we've got basic Python as well, uh, a whole bunch of other stuff, Pandas, which we'll use, NumPy, which is just critical for literally everything, Matplotlib as well. So anyway, pretty much everything we need is ready and set. So at this point, I've created an environment called Maps2. Now what Maps2 doesn't have attached to it is the ability to run Jupyter Notebooks yet. So if I click here, you'll notice there's no option to open it with Jupyter Notebooks. Whereas if I click, for instance, on my base environment up here, you'll notice, once it wakes up and loads absolutely everything it's got installed, it has an option to open with Jupyter Notebooks. So the way around this is I'm going to click on Maps 2 and make sure it's the activated one at this point. So it's going to be green and everything else will be grayed out. So it's now active. I'll go back to Home and you'll notice it's got apps, uh, Maps 2 as uh, my active environment up here. Now you'll see that it says Jupyter Notebook isn't installed in this environment. So let's do that. We'll hit install. So it's thinking about live. It's installing the application. The load bar tells me absolutely nothing about when this is going to be installed, but at some point in the future, this will be installed and we'll have a functioning version of Jupyter Notebook with all our libraries ready to go and make some maps. Any second now. Give it a sec. I, uh, I'm going to play some background music during this little bit of the video, just while we're waiting. Oh, oh, something's happening fetching a few things. So it's all the environment, it's fetching some packages it needs, some panda documentation for some reason. That seems unnecessary, but anyway, I have no say in this matter. Ooh, Argon too. Now it sounds very geochemical. Oh, now it's loading them all up. I suspect we're nearly there. And there we are. Now you see it's jumped over to here because it's the one thing that's actually installed. So I can now launch Jupyter Notebooks from this environment. So if I ever come back into Anaconda Navigator, what I can do is go here, I can select my environment and then I can click launch the notebook. So for me that opens up a little terminal to run the notebook from. Uh, depending on what you're using, we should get something else. 
And then I have this big option here. It's showing me everything. Let's just say a new notebook, new Python 3. Okie dokie, happy days. So as you can see now, this is working just fine. So I'll try to import Cartify, import Cartify. And then we can run this. And you'll see it's quite happily imported Cartify, so that is working. Import X array as XR, and then let's run that one. So at this point, my environment is completely functional, and I am able to now create maps using the Cartify library, which is the topic now of our first uh, tutorial in this spatial information section. So that'd be uh, tutorial number five.